Here he is. Half an hour late. Oh, my baby. With his uh, custom fishing trolley. Happy days. Right then, good morning folks. How are we doing? I hope you've had a fantastic Christmas and New Year. This is the first session of the season. I hope it's a good one. We come down to fish Eastbourne Pier. I'm fishing with my good friend Peter today and we're just about to get baited up. So let's see how the day goes. Right, so for baits wise today, um, I've gone for some squid, packet of squid. We've got a couple of wraps of lug, uh, some fresh and some uh, frozen, manky old bits, a couple of mackerel there. And the plan is I'm gonna use a one up, one down rig. And my target today is gonna be hopefully dabs. So I'm hoping to pull out a couple of dabs over the course of the session that we're gonna be here. But we're currently fishing the tide uh, back down now. High tide was around about seven o'clock. It's around about eight o'clock now. So we're gonna fish it all the way down to low and then maybe one or two hours back in, we'll see how we get on. Right, so the rod's cast out and we are now successfully fishing. There it is, ready to rock and roll. Target today, like I said, dabs. Hopefully we can bag a couple of fish today and get the year off to a good start. No fish as of yet, but we are starting to get a nice rainbow forming over the back there. Because it is now raining. The joys of January fishing. Right, boys and girls, so last time I come here with Harry, I blanked, Harry caught a couple of fish actually. But this, this today is not a blank because I managed to reel in this absolutely tiny pal. Look at the size of that. Well, they always say that the first fish of every new year is always special. And I'll definitely be remembering this one as the smallest fish I've ever caught. Let's get him back in. Ron and Pete, so here we are. Yep. It's the day after New Year's Day. We're full of festive cheer and fun. Yeah, I need to lose some weight. Yeah, so do I, mate. So do I. You're not the only one. What's the plan for today, mate? So you brought us to the pier. Out of all locations we could have gone, we are down at Eastbourne Pier, which is actually a fantastic venue. It is. It is it a is. great if venue. If you want to fish for, with comfort and that, definitely, yeah, the pier's the place to go. Yeah, also if you want to fish with uh, kids or want to try and get into the sport and you yeah. don't want to hassle of fishing on the beach where you're up and down all the time, um, you just want to come, um, you know, you can even hire rods here and just plop a rod over the side and try your luck. It's, it's good for yeah, all, it's all beginners of all kids. ages. It's brilliant for kids, it's where I first started. Yeah, yeah. You can't be it, it's just easy access to deep water and you get some really nice fish off the pier. You do, mate, yeah, I've had so a couple big, of nice fish off the pier last year. Big rays. Yeah. Um, in the summertime, you get big bass, you get cod leaving through the autumn. It's, it's just a really good place for multiple species, especially for like mullet, which is kind of hard to get them off the beach. Yeah, it you is, know, mate. Mullet yeah. is quite a tricky uh, fish to catch. So, um, yeah, what, what's your overall plan for today then? What are you looking to try and achieve? Um, my overall plan today is uh, to go for the dabs. Yep. Uh, I like the, like the dabs, they're really tasty. So, that would be really good to go home with a few nice dabs. Um, possible uh, bass today. Probably a few whiting. Yeah. Um, and maybe a conga. Hopefully, mate. Well, I'm one up on I'm one up on you already. So. Yes. Yeah. Or, or half half up on it's you already. One <laughs> yeah. It's one nil. That's gonna change. Yeah. I can't believe, it, mate. That, that, that small little pout. The first fish yeah. of the year. You know, you're not gonna yeah, yeah. you're not gonna forget that, are you? I mean, that's a perfect live bait, especially through the summer months. That'll be like straight on there for a bass. But yeah, I mean, it's a lovely day. The rain's cleared sun's come out there's no one here either which is that you know no, there's no one here it's lovely it's lovely and peaceful and you can't ask for more than that yeah right let's do yeah. some fishing look at that absolutely awesome right it's so all the all the small fish coming out today mate absolutely awesome so this is a dab peter's just caught it you can tell the dab if you i don't know if you can see on the pick it up on the camera I might come around this side the dab has a c on the lateral line there going down the down the body there so you can get a close-up shot there we go yeah, so Pete, target fish achieved. How are you feeling, mate? I'm feeling good. It's mate. not the biggest, but it's the target fish, mate. So happy days. Yep. All right, Stop. awesome. All right, so first one for me there. Little dab. Absolutely awesome. Absolutely fantastic. Lovely, Jason. Well done, man. Target species. We both hit the target species today. Hopefully, we can get a couple more of these, maybe some bigger ones that we might be able to take home to eat. Awesome. It's bigger than mine. Yes, it is. <laughs> Right guys, to find the place where to go fishing, it's right at the end of the pier. 
got a little, little shop at the end. We're just going to go and have a look around and see what's going on. So the shop, the shop is stocked full of beverages. You've got tea, coffee, whatever you want, cup of soups. There's loads of tackle and bits and pieces up for grabs, for sale. Big selection of weights, rigs. So if you, if you, I mean, if you're new to fishing, you can pick up a pre-made rig, which is there. And then you've got all your baits in the freezers and so on and so forth here. Prices for all your baits are up there. Let's go and have a quick scout around. Loads and loads and loads of belt baits. Obviously some might be seasonal, so I have to check with what's in there. Got pre-owned rods and bits and pieces, brand new rods, you've got reels. Loads and loads of bits and pieces. So yeah, uh, pop down, have a look. All the prices are up there, your yearly membership. Uh, fish one rod, fish two rods, opening hours as well, and then junior rates are at the bottom. So as we're looking at it now, this is the lower deck you can fish on. So you've got spaces, obviously to this side it's probably best to fish on and then to the end and uh, a little bit over that side. Don't want to fish, you know, so some people drop a bait right down this side but it is quite snaggy uh, and you, you can get tangled in the obviously the uh, metal obstructions. Peter's up the end there. What we're going to do is we're just going to have a quick look around up here. You've got the upper deck here which people fish on. There's a, there's a rod here that's already baited up going out there. And they're fishing off to this side as well, which is here. You can fish off the back of here. There's quite a few people fishing off the back of here. And then uh, this is the new bit they're making down here, which is another deck, which will allow you to fish this side of the pier as well. So when it's fully functional, there'll be quite a big space for people to fish down there. It looks absolutely great. I'm looking forward to that bit being finished so we can get up on there and give it a good fish. But yeah, that's where the fishing areas are. Loads of space to go and fish. A baiting up tables and bits and pieces. Drop nets there on hand if you need a drop net to land a big fish. And yeah. Pretty much it really. And then obviously, there the fish, somewhere out there. Well guys, it wouldn't be a session with a good old faithful whiting. There it is. Not a bad size to be fair, 34 centimetres. Happy with that. Let's get him back in and carry on try and find the rest of the dabs. Well, it's a lively one. Pop him in. Away he goes. I'm going to cast out now. Um, on a pier in general, for safety reasons, um, we don't pendulum cast. So I'm sort of going to give it a swing about, but that's because there's no one on the pier at the moment. If it was busier, I would just do an overhead uh, pump out. Rock and roll. Ziplex F0 with a 10.52.5. Oh, up here, you don't need to pass far. Awesome. Just tying up the line a little bit. Happy days, man. Lovely job, you've got to catch some fish now. Yeah. Right, so the next bait going out is here. Uh, we've got a penneled double squid. I'm gonna chuck that out and see if we have any luck on that. Right, folks, so at the moment it's all gone quiet. It's really quiet. I haven't had a bite for about an hour now, so we are just hitting and hoping and um, hopefully we'll be able to pull a couple more fish out today. Three species so far, white and dab, pouting, not too bad really. Um, it'd be nice to get a couple more. Uh, let's go and see Pete and see how he's getting on up the top deck. So here he is, he's up the top deck. How are you doing up here? Anything happening? Nah, just relaxed really. Just relaxed. Any no, fish? Not, not a lot happening. I had a double shot of white in just now. Oh, did you? Nice one. Right? Yeah, small ones. Yeah, nice one. Um, I'm still after that elusive big dab. Yeah, me too, mate, me too. Sun's coming out nice though. Weather's turned around to be a good one. Lovely day, isn't it? Lovely day. All right, so Peter's screams of delight have led me to a place in January. <laughs> oh my goodness me, you got loads of stuff. It's like a baby's mobile. A little dab? Dab, whiting, and a place. 
and that's a beauty, isn't it? Happy days, mate. Look at the size of that thing. That is a really early place. That's well. an early place, that's and it's not that bad, to be fair. Nice one. Right, so it seems to all have changed the area that's fishing better now. So towards the top end, um, towards Beachy Head side, seems to be fishing better now. Uh, on the lower part of the tide, I just had Peter shout over to me. He's had another two white and a dab, um, and my rod remains still at the moment. So I mean, hopefully things will change soon. Right, there he is. Is the fish catcher of the day? Uh, He's stealing all the fish, isn't you, Pete? I'm catching a few, but He's main, catching mainly few. whiting. Yeah. But yeah, getting a few out. What's the secret tactic then, can't Pete? What's fish. the What's the secret? Fish whisperer. The fish whisperer. You've got to talk to the fish. <laughs> <laughs> Cliff's come down as well. He's over there. See. We're all down. Just enjoying the, enjoying the weather. On my side, over there, the fishing has completely stopped. It is completely dead. There's not even a fish in sight. Over this side, Peter's side, fish galore. <laughs> when I moved over to Peter's side to try and sneak a spot in, what happened? I lost some gear, so I'm back to the original spot. But yep, we'll still keep it going and see if we can bag another fish. What are we on now? Nearing the turn of the tide now, aren't we? I think we're, we're nearing the turn of the tide. I mean, it, it looks 22. nice out there. 22, it yeah, looks so nice it's out there. Near the tide, so hopefully the tide will turn and we might get a couple of fish before darkness. Well, I will. Well, Peter will, Peter will, yeah. There we go, it. One dog and one white for Pete. Pete, you're catching all the fish today. It's embarrassing. <laughs> right, and as apart from these guys, that's all, we've been at, all I've been having today, really, to be fair, for this afternoon anyway. I come up to the top deck for the last hour. Hopefully we can try and grab something a bit different. Right, so our day's drawing to an end now. On the last couple of casts off the top deck into the abyss. What an absolutely fun day it's been. Both ended up catching the target fish today, which was pretty cool. Morning seemed a bit more productive, um, and then the rise of the tide just been, you know, really scratchy. But hey, that's fishing, you know, you can't can't win them all the time. Yeah, definitely been good fun. And the sun's going down over there. Absolutely awesome. Right, guys, so that is the end of the session today. A bit of a different one, actually, up the pier. Yes. Don't usually fish up yep. the pier myself. Uh, it's been a good overall day. We've had quite a lot of species. Peter's aced me. Um, he, he definitely fished better than me today. I reckon the fish were a bit further out of distance, though, which was a bit different, wasn't it? Yeah. Yeah, so Peter's hitting the, you know, the leads a bit further than me. I reckon he's picking up the, the fish definitely out of distance. Um, majority of fish today being a whiting. Whiting's been the most common fish today, yeah. yeah. There's a few dabs being thrown in. A couple of dabs uh, and then a... Place, couple of dogfish. A couple of dogfish and a pouting. Um, Pelts, yeah. Yeah, I had a couple of whiting towards the end of the session. Um, and then that was it really. Yeah, it's been quite a good variety of species really, isn't it? Yeah, it's been pretty good to be fair. A couple of quiet periods, but you know, that's fishing at the end of the day. Yeah, right on that bottom of the tide. Yeah, yeah, on the bottom of the tide is, uh, and, and then following the rise of the tide, it's been a bit slow, but you know, that, that's the way it goes. Yep. Nice one. Cheers, buddy. Cheers, mate. See you guys in the Pleasure next one. Fishing. Thanks for watching.